Bye. Welcome back. Anyway, let's get into it. I'm hecka busy at the moment because Black Friday sales are coming up and I need to organize things because I, honestly I have a bit of stock that I want to get rid of. I'll show you in a second. Oh, I can show you now. I've got it on my iPad. I literally last night decided that I want to do some mystery boxes just so I can get rid of some stock. Um, so you know the premise behind them. People don't know what they're buying but it's cheap so they'll take the risk. Maybe. So I was just on Canva and of course it's backwards. Anyway, it says mystery boxes and then they have two boxes that you can choose from. It has different amounts of rings that you'll get in a pack for a set price. So I'm just going to go through all my rings that I have and make some boxes up so that I can take them off the website because it would be bad if people brought the rings and then I was putting them in mystery boxes because um, that's not good stock keeping. And then over there, um, I don't know if you can see, but yesterday I cut up all of those spoons that I had in the previous video that I had on my YouTube channel where I was taking pictures of them all. I literally drew on them and cut majority of them up. And I need to make those into rings because I need more stock, new stock for Christmas. So, because you know, people, people want to see new stuff. They don't want to keep looking at the old same boring things that they're not interested in. Um, so, I'm just busy. I need to organise all this black friday stuff and put them into bundles ready to go and then i need to sell i need to sell i need to make like 50 odd rings no pressure and then i've got assessments that i need to do and work and everything everything's just all go so i'm gonna go do that <laughs> spot once again I just want to update so I just got all the rings that I had and I put them into different groups because I'm doing two different boxes I can't remember if I said that before um, mystery box with two rings and mystery box with four rings so I just had to separate them so I knew how many how much stock I had for boxes with two rings and boxes for four rings at all the different sizes that I have it at because no one would want to buy a mystery pack if it just had all these random sizes and it didn't even fit their fingers because what's the point in that? I separated it from my stock which I'll have up on my website just in general for people to go have a look at if they don't want to buy a mystery box. And then if the mystery boxes don't sell I can just put all those rings back on the website. It doesn't really matter too much. So yeah. I think I'll just continue this over the weekend and during the week. Today's what is today? Wednesday. Um, and just show you the process of me preparing for kind of a Christmas stock which I have been doing slowly and then also just Black Friday and seeing how that goes and all the sales hopefully I get some if I don't oh well um, but I have really been trying to push my marketing marketing is hard man you really have to get on to it like there was a saying I think people have to see your post or product like seven times or so before they even decide to purchase from you so just you know getting on top of it and like telling people that you've got black friday sales coming and blah, blah blah and also like just having to compete with other businesses which are obviously way way bigger than you and probably have better deals going on um it's a lot but i mean everyone's got to start somewhere with their business and i'm just trying to grow but then i go straight into um christmas and i have a deal that i'm gonna do whereas buy two rings get one free so I'm like, holy shit, I really need to like get on top of my stock because I don't want to like run out or anything because that would be so terrible. I mean, it'd be good because people obviously buy my products, but bad because then I don't really have any for the rest of the remainder of the time before Christmas hits. Um, but yeah, it's just a lot to think about and it's a bit stressful. Um, honestly, it is a bit stressful. But I mean, that's just the joys of having business. It's fun and I get to do what I like. I love making rings and stuff for our cake designs so it's well worth it i will update you tomorrow or whenever i next film
it's another day, another day that I've got these bloody glasses on. Hi. I have lots of rings, which I'll show you in a second, that I need to sand down because they're really rough. And then I'm going to make them into actual rings. And I think I have a good maybe 40 rings that I'm going to make this afternoon. <laughs> so let's get into it. Friday. It is Monday. I have a few couple orders that I need to pack from Black Friday sales, which is always nice. Um, I'm literally right now. I was just packing. I should probably start recording because I always forget to record. I just get too into it and just get on with what I'm doing. But at the moment, I'm packing the biggest order I've ever gotten. There's 12 rings to pack up. I feel for me personally, it feels like a big milestone that people actually like my products and want to buy them. Um, so that's just what I'm doing at the moment. They ordered a couple mystery packs so they don't actually know what rings they're getting. So I just need to put them into separate little boxes and label that these are the mystery packs and then the other ones I'll just put in all together because they know what they're getting. <laughs> totally forgot to do an outro to this video so this is it in next week's video i'll be doing a lot more i'm um, ring making instead of packing just getting ready for the christmas time obviously um but yeah that's it for this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one bye